<laughs> Hi, this is Pete for Allen's Arsenal. Here to do a video for Tactical Rifleman, and today we're going to do a gelatin test of the Barnes XDP 9mm versus the Corbon Powerball 45 ACP. They're both hollow point bullets. The big difference is with the 9mm, it, it's 115 grain, flies at about 1225 feet per second. The Corbon Powerball, it is still a hollow point bullet. The difference is that they have a polymer ball inside of that. In order to make room, they do reduce the weight of the bullet. It is 165 grain, but it does fly at 1125. The guns we're going to use for this is a standard 1911 I have from Caspian and the new SIG 320RX. So now that we've shot the gelatin blocks, I'd next like to go ahead and thank Custom Collagen for supplying the blocks. If you want to go ahead and do tests like this on your own, please go ahead and go to their website and visit them. So we went ahead and shot these at approximately 10 meters away. As you can tell by the cavitation, it was shallower with the 45, but the reason why you don't want it to over penetrate is you might end up shooting non-combatants that are standing behind them. Uh, so anyways, from here, as you can see, the blocks on the bottom, we went ahead and shot with the SIG 320 with the Barnes XPD 115 grain uh, bullets. They did go a little bit past the first block, about an inch or two. Uh, not so much on that cavitation in area, but definitely the, the Corbon Powerball, the 45, uh, again at 165 grains. It went ahead and gave a huge cavitational wound right here, so much to where we had gelatin or in real life be tissue coming back out the, the front end. And you also notice that your bullets stopped right around 12 to 13 inch mark. Yes, I do understand that if we went ahead and had uh, like the FBI did a couple layers of denim or had shirts on it, you would get even less on it. Uh, and I, there's plenty of the internet ninjas who I'm sure will come back at me and talk about the fact that this is a slower moving round. Personally, with trying it off of this, I've also done it off of uh, phone books that were soaked in water uh, that were three inches thick, gave extreme huge effects as far as the exit wounds. Even though the Barnes has had great history in human tissue, here's proof right here. And I'm not saying that one's better than the other. You have to pick on your own which one you like to carry. Another one of the plus factors on the Corbon Powerball is the fact of the polymer ball. It does make it like a round nose bullet. So if you have a firearm that has problems with feeding issues from the hollow point bullets, you can go ahead and try these. So if you would like to help support Tactical Rifleman, there will be a link at the end so you can purchase t-shirts like this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.
If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.